some of my favorite places to eat at Pike Place Market. Today it is so cold. So first one is back here, technically not in the market, it's kind of on the side, it is a place where I used to shuck oysters. Uh, I'm not gonna get that right now though, but that one's called Sea Town. I used to shuck oysters there. A new one that I'm really loving, a new one that I'm really loving is this place, Hellenica. They've got all these ice creams here and it's a, it's a cultured ice cream, which means it has some ferment going on. It's just got a different flavor. It's so freaking delicious. I tried it the other day and the, the ice creams are just like constantly churning. So it's like super creamy. I know it's too cold to have ice cream right now, but I'm gonna do this for you guys. I'm gonna have ice cream for you guys right now. I was like, I feel like I've seen you walking around before. I am always here. <laughs> This stuff is so good. I tried it the other day. It's super creamy. I love how it's just constantly churning. It is so much fun. And just the science behind all of it. Uh, yeah, so what's the science behind it? Background, and so I geek out of it. So with these, we are able to control a couple different things. So when it's spinning, you'll notice um, if I have it in production, it will spin faster than it does in storage, which has to do with air content. Is that the, the and so we can actually change how dense it is versus how light and fluffy it is. Gotcha. Um, which is what makes it similar to a gelato, it's the density. Yeah. And then we can also change temperature. So it only takes about 15 minutes to get funny enough, we have a whole lot of cake in here. What? So she just took me, so Sydney just took me behind the scenes here their kitchen and she wants to show me like the back end of it. So this is what creates like all the flavors? Yeah, and then oh, real right. quick, I want you to meet them. So it's just like a regular ice cream base it looks like. Yeah. Exactly. So what's the, is it like fermented or? Yeah, so um, the way I make it is I start with a gelato base and I milk cream sugar. Yeah, I put it in this pasteurizer here, it's just a huge pot. Um, pasteurize that, I uh, do a low temperature pasteurization on that, it means like Probably at 145, 30 minutes, you can just cook the, you know, the milk and the cream and the sugar. Mm -hmm. And then I cool it down to just above uh, body temperature. It's about you know, 100 degrees, I cool it down to. And I add the cultures. I might be able to show you like what the cultures are at to a bit. Um, so the cultures go in there, you know, and I, they incubate in there overnight. So cultures eat some of the sugar that's in there. They produce like that black lactic acid and same time, so mm -hmm. it gives you that kind of sour flavor as well. Kind of like a yogurt. Kind of like a yogurt. So yogurt would be if I just had milk, put, put that in there and add like, add like a different blend of cultures, that'd, that'd make yogurt. Oh, what? <laughs> you made a gelato snowman? I'm not done yet. I got to add on the mouth and the eyes. I made this with tempered Sick. chocolate. These are passion fruit covered with chocolate. <laughs> Okay, so I was not expecting her to take me to the back and show me around and give me a free cup of ice cream. Thank you so much, Sydney. It's got like a very decadent texture and it's not like Froyo where it's super sour, but you get a little bit of that sourness. And I'm eating this in fucking 20 degree cold weather right now. And here is the line for the first ever Starbucks, which brings me to my next favorite place, Starbucks. No, I'm just fucking kidding. I would never go to Starbucks, nor would I wait in that line. Okay, no, I do go to Starbucks when I'm like at an airport or if it's the last resort. So the next place is something that I used to eat almost every day when I was working as a line cook because this one is like the perfect package. It's got all the nutrition you need. It's got protein, it's got your carbs, and it's all built up into one portable little package. It's called Misum Pastry. They have these things called humbau. They're so delicious. They have a steamed version of humbau, and then they have a baked version. Well, these are the fillings that you can get. And this is something that I would get every day before work. Oh, you're good, you're good. <laughs> um, yeah, I would, uh, I would get these like almost every day before work. And it's all just in like a perfect little package. It's portable, it's got your protein, it's got your carbs. That's why I love them. That's why I would get them every day before heading into the kitchen. Hi. Hello. I do uh, one barbecue pork and then uh, one of the chive shrimp dumpling, please. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so hanbao, like I said, great portable, but uh, I'm gonna end it with my most favorite, which is Auntie Lai at Omar. So Auntie Lai always makes sure I'm fed. She has a really amazing oxtail. She has really good longanisa. Like she's always on point here. Let's see if she wants to say hi right now. Auntie Lai. I think we on the back side. I got you a hanbao. Oh my God. Yeah. Somebody wanted to meet you. Who? 
one of my friends. No, so they were asking me like my favorite eats in the market. I just ended it here with you. Wait. You make Wait. the best eats in the market, so. Eats like E A T. Yeah, like stuff to eat. Hi. Oh, honey. Oh, it looks like they're already. done. Oh, we're yeah, we don't have any more food. You gotta come here though, it's really good. I know, yeah, it's really good. Yeah, sorry. Is that the menu up there? Yeah. Well, the menu is. Auntie Lai is done for the day, so I can't show you anything. But I trust me, I'll put some B roll. I'll put some B roll, you'll see it. Alright, I gave my hombao to Auntie Lai, but I went and bought my own just so I could show you. This right here, one of my all-time favorite like packages to carry. I'm gonna just tear it open. I usually don't do this, but I'm just gonna show you. This is the innards. It's a barbecue pork baked. You wanna ask for the baked one. There's also a steamed one, which is really good. Mm. Mm hmm. It's like everything you want. It's like a sweet dinner roll stuffed with this delicious barbecue pork it's so fucking delicious this is one of my favorites i've been coming to for 10 years mm.